So this video shows you how to calculate a loss in a RF module. It can be on your horn, it can be on a dielectric or it can be, you can say dielectric or metal. So here I can show you one horn antenna. So there is a horn antenna over here. I'm just hiding some of the radiation box. So this is a horn antenna metal and inside there is a air boundary so I'm just hiding that air boundary so usually what you can see here is uh, there is a port horn is radiating and there is a dielectric uh, which is little low C in terms of RF so if you see the material property of this it has a low standard of 0.3 with a permittivity of 1.5 so what you need to do is you need to just uh, double click on this analysis this is going to simulate at 5 gigahertz uh, make sure you are enable the save field option we need to have a save fields inside this uh, radiation box so once you model everything just run the simulation analyze it so once after the simulation you will see the gain its parameter everything from the antenna loss in my horn and what is a loss in my uh, dielectric which is a lossy dielectric here so over here uh, what uh, in order to find the losses first you need to set the edit source settings so I am going to assume uh, I am going to pump uh, 20 watts power from the horn so if I put 20 watts power from the horn I want to know how much power is dissipating on the low Z dielectric how much power is going to dissipate on the um, horn also make sure uh, if you want to see the dissipation on the horn you need to have a realistic material for the copper uh, the horn so here I used a horn antenna with the copper material if I am using PEC it assuming that lossless material so you won't have any loss in that one so make sure you are selecting the right material copper or aluminium based on your uh, material property and set the edit source settings one thing you need to do is uh, you can select this uh, horn antenna right click and we need to min uh, notice one thing if you are going to see the losses on metal you need to plot the surface loss density because uh, HFSS by default will not solve inside the metal so loss you can plot as a surface loss density click ok so you can see the losses which is happening on inside your horn because the field will not penetrate through the metal that's the reason you wanted to see the dielectric so dielectric will have field inside so instead of surface loss density you can plot volume loss density okay so uh, you will see the losses generated on your dielectric next I wanted to see out of 20 watts power how much power is dissipating on the horn how much power is dissipating on my volume so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just make a plot invisible selecting this object right clicking and in the XN selection select all face okay once I select all the face of my horn I will go here in the modeler I'll select a list create a face list so under the face list so this is a face list I'll say this is horn face faces now I'll go to uh, right click go to field calculator here I will say I'll just clear this data I will say I wanted to see the losses in my horn so surface loss density copy to stack then in the, under the geometry go to surface you will see horn faces click OK you just have to integrate together once you integrate surface loss across your horn you can click on the evaluation you will see 
0.01921 watt is going to dissipate if you are pumping 20 watts power from the port similarly if i wanted to see the volume loss density which is generated on the dielectric so just click on the copy stack and go to geometry here you need to select the volume select that low c material click ok and do any degradation operation and evaluate so you are going to see the dielectric is going to dissipate almost 8.77 watts of power the moment you are going to uh, apply 20 watts now we are going to do a small one more thing uh, i'm just closing this and if i change my edit source uh, to 10 watts okay i can repeat the same process just go here calculate and select the volume loss density where it is yeah copy to stack copy low c and integrate and evaluate so you can see power dissipation on the dielectric changed and it is the linear variation if you just multiply with the two you will get a 8.77 so always the power is in depend on what you are going to set on the edit source